So we got an extended look at Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty in the Xbox Games Showcase Extended. That's a long title. Um, now, the reason I didn't post this a little bit sooner is because I've been waiting to see if they're going to upload a 4K version. They never did, so this is only going to be a reaction in 1080p because, again, they never they never uploaded a 4K version. I checked all the socials, all the sites, all the channels. I checked Xboxes. I checked the CD Projekt Red one. It's Cyberpunk 2077 one. Uh, I didn't see it anywhere else. But it's still on the archive for the Xbox Games Showcase Extended. Again, if you don't know what the extended stream was, it was basically another two hours just kind of diving in more into certain games that they showed off during the Xbox Showcase, which includes Phantom Liberty, uh, which comes out later on this year in September. So let me know if you guys are excited for Phantom Liberty or not, um, or if you, I, I don't know, where, where do you sit on the spectrum with Cyberpunk 2077? Anyways, so let's go ahead and watch this uh, because I think it's roughly like 15-ish minutes or so because there's two different segments. There's like a black market segment, I think, uh, and then they have one uh, with an inter with a special interview, uh, which I didn't see, but I seen who it was. Hello, everyone. So let's go ahead and watch I'm really this. Excited to welcome you to this exclusive Quest. Xbox store over Black Market. One of the locations in Dogtown that you are going to be able to explore in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Okay. Yeah, Work in progress see, captured an Xbox Series X in performance mode. Interesting, okay. okay. This is Black Market. Okay. A location where you as a player, as a mercenary, you can <laughs> obtain unique cyberware and weapons things that you cannot find anywhere in this world. Hmm. Dogtown is a part of Night City, but has its own very distinct look and vibe. Okay. It's outside of the jurisdiction of NCPD, attracting all kinds of eccentrics and dangerous characters. Radical mods, Jim. Interesting. Never seen anything like that on a non-maelstromer. That's crazy. Ain't seen nothing yet. Check this out. Bro, bro's got... He's got flamethrowers out of his elbows. We have put a lot of work <laughs> what the into heck is that, dude? The world feel more alive. Oh my Small goodness. Scenes, wow. Secrets to find, Easter eggs. Okay. Make this place feel more vibrant and more believable. Right. But what's inescapable in Dogtown is Kurt Hansen. Kurt is a leader Kurt. of Borges Militia who okay. rules Dogtown of an iron fist. You've come to the right place. Is that him on the screen? NCPD, gang wars, not in Dogtown. Taxes, who goes to Dogtown? In Dogtown, I keep your business safe as huh. long as you abide by my rules. A really nice guy, as you can see. Yeah, totally, totally. The black market also is a place where you can find new illegal weapons and goods. New they illegal are some weapons. Of the most powerful items in the world, but are often much more dangerous to use. A new cyberware capacity system, which leads you to push your body to the limit and give you new abilities to deliver more thrilling gameplay experiences, like the air dash or the ability to see the enemies through the walls, okay. or change your appearance to lose the heat. The Borgest is the authorities of Dogtown, and they are more dangerous than NCPD. When you as a player commit crimes in Dogtown, they are the guys who are going to chase you. Oh we boy. have completely overhauled the police system. Okay. The police actions are more believable, dynamic, and diverse. The I team like has it. been working passionately That's cool. to deliver you more deeper and meaningful experience, and I really cannot wait for you to find out more this September. See you in Dogtown. Okay. That's cool. That was a little short, shorter than I thought it would be. I think there's another part though, so we're not done yet. Phantom Liberty, out September 26, 2023. Pre-order now. We're not done talking about CD Projekt Red's next no, we're dive not. into the story between V and Johnny just yet. In fact, we're here with the voice and stylings of Johnny Silverhand, Keanu Reeves himself. Welcome. There he is. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Likewise. Well, Phantom Liberty introduces us to an entirely new location. He's in a character City. It's, it's called in Dogtown. and of himself. It's this devastated place. It's controlled by a militia. But I think you know more about it than I do. So how would you describe it to players? Night City has its own kind of levels to it, and I think Dogtown is kind of going down to a darker place. Um, oh, yeah? 
It's How? dystopian. Oh, wow. It has a tension to it and this undercurrent of kind of violence, you know, like, and struggle, you know, sh can I swear? Yeah. Shit's gone down <laughs> <laughs> in Dogtown. Oh, I like um, that tagline. Yeah, and it's just, you know, I mean, hopefully it'll be fun for people to, uh, to play there. It's hard to believe that mm. there's an underbelly to the underbelly yes, that is Night good. City, yes. right? Yeah, I'm yeah. a little scared. But yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good way. <laughs> I mean, we're all kind of drawn to, we're all moths to the flame, mm -hmm. aren't we? And there's a lot of <laughs> flame in Dogtown. Well, if anyone can take it on, it's V. <laughs> he, so that's He's such a character, man. Right? Yeah, I'm telling you. he's a survivor. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You know? And we just saw a tour of Dogtown, too. So we got a little bit of that oh, cool. ambiance. And, and we can see what the environment is like. People are getting beat up. It's not good. It's, yeah. it's not the friendliest place to be. You got you to gotta be prepared for it, truly. Yeah. But in our tour, we also hear a recording from a Colonel Kurt Hansen. Who's this guy? Because he seems pretty dangerous, too. Yeah. That guy. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't say that. My inner Johnny came out. I think that's good. Inner... You know, we, we know the tone now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, oh, he's ex -military, goodness. military too. That's great. Useless, power hungry, manipulative, and Johnny doesn't like him. I could see that. It's, I mean, Night City in general is the kind of place that breeds that kind of character. There it yeah. Is. Let's take a step back. Let's talk about Johnny as a person instead of this horrible person known as Colonel Kurt Hansen. I don't know about this guy, but people like Johnny. And I think it's interesting Johnny's because great. we know him to be opinionated. <clears throat> He's radical. We've seen that in Cyberpunk 2077 in the Man Campaign. But as we get to know him, He's got a sensitive side too. He can actually be quite caring. Oh, uh, that's what makes it so much fun. He is outspoken. He is he's a little grumpy and he has a right to be. He's been used, he's been abused, he's been abandoned. And I think that through that kind of hardness of his outside, there is a vulnerability to him. And I think what's great about it is I, I get to play that character in so many different ways. And so the range of it is cool. And especially for the player, you get to see these moments okay. and flashbacks. You start to understand he's a product of his upbringing, truly, of his surrounding. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we could start talking about nature and nurture. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I keep dropping into Johnny. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I like, wow, dude. I like his anger. I like his passion. I like what he stands for. He's, he's really just looking for a fair shot. And I, I love that he's kind of going through music, that there's an artist side right. to him. And, okay. you know, I got some great speeches. <laughs> <laughs> there's all these moments wow. with Johnny where a tiny little thing, you know, elicits this really fun response. You can flip him off and he double birds you back. Like, I love those kind of moments. <laughs> or rock. I think another interesting lens of, of looking at him as we get into Phantom Liberty is his dynamic with Solomon Reed. So mm. what can you tell me about Johnny's relationship with Idris Elba's character? I think Solomon has some things in common with Johnny in the sense of the military, the sense of being used, abused. Um, you know, it's in the title, right? They're fighting for a liberty. You know, Solomon's kind of trying to reclaim his life, hmm. you know, and Johnny's doing okay. the same thing. You know, it's Cyberpunk 2077, so it might start off as revenge, and it might end as revenge, but I think sometimes he feels like he's lashing out at the wind, you know? And I think Solomon has been living out in the kind of the desert of his life, right? Hmm. Kind of hiding and harboring. Yeah. But I think he also has that kind of soft and hard side to him as well. Mm, interesting. Okay. So as somebody who's very familiar with thrillers, because you've starred in a few, what do you think about Phantom Liberty makes for a good spy thriller in particular? The quest to understand what's going on. So, and, and the kind of scavenger hunt of information, the mystery, the double crossing, what is true, what's fiction, mm. what can you count on, you can't count on anything. That is really kind of amplified. Okay. 
<clears throat> that's that's intriguing. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much for coming out to another Xbox presentation. You've got a lot of fans out there in the Xbox community, so I think I can speak for all of us in saying we really appreciate you showing up here today. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but before it's an I close honor to things be out, here. yeah. <laughs> well, before I close things out, I'd love your help here, Keanu. How do you think Johnny would end this interview right now? Hmm. <laughs> well, there's a lot of ways he could do that. But, uh, Tina? Pleasure to meet you. Oh, is that how Johnny would do it? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Johnny. Nice to, such nice a, to see such you. Such a pleasure <laughs> to have you. I, I thought you were going to kick down the camera or something. Uh, so. Oh, you see, <laughs> he's respectful. You know, you're, you're a good egg. Oh, well, thank you. You too. Yeah. And I'll see you out there again soon. <laughs> that was a great interview. That was a fantastic interview, man. That was, that was incredible. I think that might be it. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we're going on to a different uh, game at this point. It's, it's like I said, two hours. So I think that's it. Let me check one other thing because I feel like there might have been one thing I missed. Let me check. No, nope, never mind. That was it. That's all uh, That's all we got for, uh, for that one. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about Phantom Liberty down in the comment section below. Uh, love that interview with uh, Keanu, man. That was, that was amazing. Uh, he's such a character, man. He has like this crazy charisma. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Again, stick around for more. We do variety of gaming content here on the channel. Talk about the games and play the games, which also includes reacting to the games as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I hope to see you soon in another one. Tell them, friends. Game on. I'll see you guys later.